Okay guys, hope you don't mind my half ready appearance. I got a dinner to go to today and so I thought I'd film my makeup look. I have been holding on to this for about a week now. I got the moon spell. As soon as it showed up on Sephora, I was hoping to wait for the VIB, but whatever. So here is what the packaging looks like. It's gorgeous. It looks like a book. I have this other palette up here. I'm trying to figure out how to organize my actual palette collection, but here is the other palette I own from Lunar Beauty. This is Strawberry Dreams, and I picked this up during the summer sale. So I have a video with that. I can try and remember to link it for you guys. But this one is gorgeous. It's Halloween themed, and the reveal video was great. And here is what it looks like. Sorry, my simple human mirror is giving me extra light that I didn't ask for. So here's kind of a true look at the palette. I know a lot of people were like, oh, it's not grungy enough. Oh, I wish it was more witchy and dark. And I could totally get that. Uh, the other palette I've seen recently that's really giving me Halloween vibes is Shroud Cosmetics, formerly known as Strobe Cosmetics. They have a palette called the Arcana palette. That one definitely looks very Halloween themed. So if you want to check that out, I personally won't be picking that up because I don't need to, but just thought I'd recommend like a more Halloween looking palette. I also recently filmed a eye look with the Smoke Show palette by ColourPop. That's the monochromatic black palette that they recently came out with. So I'll try and remember to link all of that up in the cards for you guys. Otherwise you can just search my channel, but without further blabbering, let's get into a look with the Moonspell palette. So Get Ready With Me's are really, really fun to film. Sometimes I'm like, oh, what should I talk about? You know, I really do put some thought into what I should say. Should I swatch this first? That'll give me an idea of what colors are in this palette. Oh my God, this first shade. Prue, I believe is how you say that. Oh. Oh my god, these feel so nice. That's the first row. Purple one didn't swatch the greatest. Okay, so we have P Prue, Piper, Phoebe, Paige, and Sabrina. They're all like named after witches, I believe. Look at my fingers. Isn't that gorgeous? So there's like a purple row, a neutral row, and then like a more green row. So this is the neutral row. I'm really attracted to the shade Mary. It's like a taupe dirty gold kind of shade. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Are you serious right now? So I have Winifred, Sarah, Mary, Samantha, and Kiki. Oh, that's so pretty. Do you guys see those shimmers? Gorgeous. Okay, and I'm not going to swatch the last row. I'm so tempted to do a green look, but I always feel like I'm doing green looks. So that's the green row. So we have Hermione, Bonnie, Marine, Mer Marnie, Marnie, sorry, Nancy, and Fiona. So there's all of the swatches. Let me zoom you guys out and show you the swatches so you can all fit it in one frame. Okay, so here are all the swatches of the Manny palette, the Moonspell. So pretty. I believe he said this is his holiday collection and I think that was really cool because most brands do a Christmas palette or like a Christmas themed or more holiday appropriate palette. So I like that he did like Halloween as his holiday and I still think a lot of these colors would be beautiful during the Christmas season like the neutral row. I think you can wear to a New Year's party or a Christmas party or church or you know, I think it's still very appropriate now that I've shown you swatches I'm gonna zoom you back in so we can get this eye look going welcome to my face who used to say that on YouTube Was it coffee break with Danny that used to say that I can't remember if you guys remember let me know Okie dokie, so I cleaned like three brushes and those are just gonna have to cut it. Oh Man, what am I gonna do? I think Hmm, I'm so tempted to do the greens, but I also want, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do a neutral look. I'm just gonna be that bee today and do a neutral eye look. 
but you know what guys let me know in the comments if you want to see me play with the other colors too and I will most certainly do that for you as well oh this brown shade is blending beautifully I just went in with the shade Winifred which is the lightest brown just like a beautiful my skin color type brown and this is just a Morphe blending brush Okay, that honestly blended so effortlessly. Now I'm gonna go to the shade Kiki, which is like that dark brown shade in the palette. And I'm gonna place that on the outer corner. And once I get it placed, I drag it in to the outer half, just to kind of give it like a good blend. This look is going to be so simple, you guys, because obviously I'm not going to do anything too wild. But I think that's the great thing about these like half neutral, half colorful palettes is that you can do a whole neutral look. You can do a neutral crease with a pop of color on the lid, like so many possibilities. And I love that about the fact that more brands are playing with color now. Um, it kind of sucks if you... <laughs> love love just neutral palettes but hey i mean tati beauty is coming out with a neutral palette you guys need to let me know if you're picking up that palette i'm so curious um right off the bat it's definitely not my vibe it reminds me too much of the morphe 35o palette and i just know it would be one of those palettes that i buy and i review and i never touch again and i'm so i'm not really interested in that right now but I just love her, I don't know, the way she is on camera, like, I really appreciate her professionalism. I respect her hustle. She's a really good YouTuber, and that's one thing I've learned from meeting some of my friends in real life is that most of us are just normal people that just love makeup, and Tati definitely gives me that vibe, even though she has, like, almost 10 million subscribers now on YouTube. And there was that little drama, and I don't really know if she came out of it, like, I don't know, if it was best for her to speak up on that, and, like, if she actually gained something from it. I know her channel, like, she gained a lot of sub subscribers from it, but I feel like that was inevitable with Tati. She was going to be big, and I'm glad that she spoke up. You know, that was her truth. That's what she believed in, and I've definitely been the friend that's been in like a toxic friendship and there's no way for me to get out and so I just went cold turkey and like stopped talking to people just because sometimes when you're dealing with somebody that has a very strong personality or they're very narcissistic or they don't really listen there's really nothing you can say to convince them to go otherwise so that's a little life story <laughs> tidbit for you guys but um I'm pretty much done I just want to pick a lid shade. I'm kind of picking between Samantha and Mary and maybe even Hermione, but I think I'm going to go with... I've been like... When I first watched him reveal this palette, um, Mary was what caught my attention. So I'm going to try Mary, and I haven't wet my brush, so I just want to see how it applies without getting my brush wet. I really love... Amy loves makeup. She's so sweet. She always, like, one of the first things she told me when she met me was, like, how she just loves that my eyeshadow, like, sparkles so much. And she's like, you really make your shimmers pop. And I'm like, oh, that was so sweet of her because she's so, like, I think Amy blends her shadows so beautifully. Like, if you look at her Instagram, she does, like, close-up of her eye shots and her eyeshadow always looks, like, so blended to perfection. So it's so funny how even within like YouTubers, we can like appreciate each other's techniques. So Amy posted very recently um, that she tried foiling her eyeshadow like by wetting her brush and she's never gonna go back to not doing that because her eyeshadow just looks so sparkly and that made me feel really good inside because she, like I said, is really good at makeup and so that was really sweet of her to um, give me a shout out and 
it's been like a really great week for me as far as YouTube goes because I got to collab with my two friends Angelica and Amy on our Huda video and obviously those two have much bigger platforms than I do so I had so many people checking out my channel and leaving sweet comments and that was really cool so if you came from Amy or Angie's channel welcome thank you so much for giving me the opportunity to entertain you with my makeup <laughs> and thank you so much for Amy and Angelica for giving me the opportunity to collab with them I know you know it's hard because with YouTube I think there's like this unspoken rule of like don't approach big youtubers because they're not gonna want to collab with you because why would they like you have a smaller following than them and I was definitely very much nervous about that when I first started getting into YouTube and I'd see like some youtubers that I follow talk about their other friends and they do collabs and I'm like wow like I really like watching so-and-so or so-and-so but my channel is so small they're never gonna want to collab with me um, but that's not always the case um, there's youtubers that are much bigger than me that have collabed with me like makeup struggles she literally I think my channel like doubled in subscribers after I collab with her because so many people came over from her channel to mine I've collabed with people that are smaller than me that hopefully you know they've gained some subscribers and I just feel like you should genuinely just collab with people that you're drawn to their channel and so I'm so appreciative of all the big YouTubers and the small YouTubers that have taken time to approach me and ask me to collab with them. And I honestly, if anyone wants to collab with me, like please send me a DM. I just don't always have the best ideas. So <laughs> if, um, if you guys have ideas that you wanna, you know, suggest in the comments, if you're a subscriber, if you have you know ideas of people I should collab with or ideas of collab videos I should film I would be so excited to check those out um, I think I would love to do more collabs where I um, collab with people with different skin tones kinda like the Huda video that was such a perfect collab I didn't realize like people would enjoy it so much but it worked out so well and people were so excited to see the different skin tones, the different concerns. It was a really, it worked out really well. So I'm so grateful for those two for doing that. This shade is stunning. I do want to try and foil it. So I'm going to go grab something to wet my brush with and I will be right back. Okay, guys. Got my Urban Decay. Going to go back in. Usually I pick up the shadow and then wet it. I don't know why I did backwards, but that's okay. Ooh, this shadow is so pretty. Manny, you killed it, bruh. Mary is, this is such a pretty shadow. I can totally see people wearing this for the holiday season. So anyway, this is it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my face makeup and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I just smoked out my lower lash line, threw on some mascara I'm also wearing my Luna Beauty highlighter. I can't remember the shade, but it's like the champagne shade that I picked up this summer. And ColourPop lipstick and a Pixie gloss. So I really like how this look turned out. It's definitely very neutral, but that's just kind of the mood I was in. I definitely want to film some looks incorporating the greens and the purples. So maybe I'll just do either just straight across and do two more looks. I don't know. Leave me you guys' feedback down in the comments. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with how this palette swatched and the few shades I tried out. So just know this is a first impressions, just a little get ready with me. I wanted to play with this palette because like I said, I'd been holding on to it for a while. So I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts down in the comments. Also really quick before I leave, I just want to say if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for subscribing. I really, really appreciate you guys being here. I had mentioned in a previous video that my goal was to hit 4,000 subscribers before the end of 2019. And I'm really, really excited. I hope I get to experience that. And I thank you guys all for giving me a chance and checking out this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next one soon. Bye, guys.